Hello, hello. Welcome to Maker Studio. I'm glad you can join us this morning. I have a fun project ahead of us. I am Cheryl and I create over on the Home on My Making Facebook page. But I'm here today on a Maker Studio as a contributor and I'm glad you can join me over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I had gone to Hobby Lobby and I got this unfinished wooden basket. Now I have started to paint it and I'm going to finish doing that while we do this project. So the color that I am using is a one step paint and it's called Cartouche Green. I hope I'm saying that right, Amy. I, I hope I'm not <laughs> saying it the wrong way, but it's a lovely green, kind of like a green gray. So I had already started painting this. I got the bottom and the sides done, but this whole entire um, basket was an unfinished wood. I also went ahead and did the inside of it with a Bauhaus buff one-step paint, but I'm gonna finish painting the rest of it. So as you guys hop on, let us know where you're watching from. Um, also, if you love this color green, let us know in the comments below. Again, all the products that we use during these tutorials are all in the description up at the top of the page. So anything that I use, you can go and find it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this paint and finish painting this really cute, it was like I said, unfinished wooden basket. So since spring is right around the corner, or actually it, it's here in some states, some of you are still getting, um, some of you are still getting snow, even though the calendar says spring. But this would make a really nice basket to go ahead and collect flowers in or even as a decor piece. Now this one step paint doesn't necessarily mean one coat. It means one step. So there was no priming or sanding or stripping the surface before I did it. So you could use this over your furniture pieces that you want to transform into a whole different look. So I'm almost done. I wanted to get ahead of myself instead of painting the whole thing and then get most of it dry so I can continue with my, with my project. So this is just such a really pretty green. makes for a really nice spring color too. I am going to hit this with a heat gun now. The reason why I'm using a heat gun is not because it's part of the process. It's just because I need the um, surface dry to continue on with the rest of the project. So one step paint is water based. So it does dry pretty quick. Obviously at home, you don't need to do it with a heat gun. You can literally walk away from it for 20 minutes and it'll be dry. So you just have to do the handle and then the, the whole thing will be completed. Like I said, I used the cartouche um, green on most of it. And then I did the Bauhaus buff in the very bottom just to give it a little bit um, of a different dimension. And now I'm just going to go over the handle. So if you're just hopping on, let us know where you are watching from. And say hello in the comments. This is pretty much covering with the one coat, so I don't have to do a second coat, but sometimes you do, just depending on your surface and your color that you're using. This color is looking so fabulous on here. 
I'm going to turn it up so I can see the underneath the handle so that it's all covered. Again, if you're just hopping on, I did get this surface at Hobby Lobby. I love taking an unfinished piece of wood and kicking it up to a different level. Just trying to make sure I got all my little handle painted. Got it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my container because it is a water-based paint and you want to keep them away from, you know, letting the air get in there too much. It will thicken it up. And if that happens to you, all you have to do is just add a little water since it is a water-based project product. So again, I totally got the whole thing covered. So remember, this started out as a unfinished piece of wood. Just gonna get that little drip there. And now I'm gonna dry the whole thing. So we released a bunch of transfers recently, and they are so fabulous. The design in them, all the pattern, and there's a bunch of florals, which I love anything that has flowers on it. So here's what I'm going to show you today. Put this to the side. And let me show you these transfers. Aren't these fabulous? So I'm just loving, loving this transfer. Also... If you are on here now or watching later on in replay, don't forget to tag three friends and share this video tutorial and you will be in the giveaway for these. So look at how fabulous all of those flowers are. You got some greenery in there. So let me show you how to work with these transfers. So they come in this sleeve. So what you would do, is you take them out of the sleeve. Now, the front of these transfers, there's like a little piece of, kind of like a cellophane on here, and the transfer is on the back. So what you would do is, whatever pattern, whatever flower in, in this particular case that you wanna use, take your scissor and cut out what you wanna use. So, I'm gonna cut out what I think I'm gonna use, and then this way I can place them onto my surface just to get a little bit of a idea of how it's gonna look. So again, just cut around the pattern that you like, and in this case, and that's gonna leave the backing on it and the front of it. So I'm just gonna cut some out, thinking about which ones that I want to use in this project. Again, leave the two pieces, the top and the bottom attached when you do this. Don't separate them. There's so many pretty ones on here. I don't know what else. Let's get some of these leaves. And if you go up to the description section, you will see all the links for all these. And we have a lot more variety than just this particular transfer. They were just recently released and there are, they are so much fun to work with. It's definitely different than using a stencil and the color on here and the design, it's just fabulous. I'm just gonna cut a couple more out because I really don't know where I want my placement of these. So I'm just cutting out each flower or stem individually and leaving it on the cellophane on the top and the backing on the bottom. So I think that's enough for now. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the front of this where I had already 
Let me just get that a little bit more dry under there. I could tell it's wet. Exactly where, where I uh, painted it before I came on is what I'm going to use now. So make sure your paint, your stain, or whatever you use is dry. So I'm going to work on this area. I am going to cover the whole thing, but probably not during this live. So what I want to do is I just want to put where I think, just lay them out where you think you might want these to go. Just to get an idea, just to get an idea. Let me see, this one is a couple of little pieces that I need to cut out. Again, if I wanted to use that whole thing in its entirety next to each other, I wouldn't have to cut it out. Let's see, maybe that'll go there, and then that can go here. And then I think I need one more. Maybe I'll do this. So as you see, I'm just trying to put them on here where I think they would go, okay? I'm just getting an idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off so I know where my placement is. And I'm gonna put this one right here. So what you do is peel it off of its backing, okay? And you're going to then Put it down onto your surface. Now you'll take something that looks like this, which is just a popsicle stick, and you're going to start to burnish the top of it. Just keep rubbing over the top. Sometimes I like to go over the whole thing first. This way it will hold it down. But what you're going to do is start on one end and just take the popsicle stick and rub and rub and rub. Then you're gonna lift this little piece of plastic and you're gonna see where your transfer went down. And then you're just gonna move back further away from where you were rubbing. And then you're gonna lift the plastic again to see if your transfer has stuck on there. And it'll release itself from this. So as you do that, you can pull it up and if you see that it's not detached from the plastic, just go ahead and rub it again. And what it'll do is it'll make this look clear because all of the transfer has transferred to your surface. It's such a fun medium to work with these transfers and the design element is fabulous. As I'm doing this, I can actually see it start to release, but I will still lift it to um, make sure that it's not on here anymore. See, if it wasn't transferring, I would have the design on this piece. Does that make sense? So it's all transferred on there. I'm going to keep doing it till I get to the end, and then I'm gonna lift it again and see that I got all of the, um, transfer off of the plastic part of the transfer. Now I'm going to turn it around just to make sure I could see that it's coming off, coming off. There you go. So see how that transferred on there? So how you know that it worked, you wouldn't have any part of the transfer left on this plastic piece. So here I'm going to then take this other little one, peel it off, and then I'm just gonna adhere it to there. I'm just gonna burnish it with my finger. That kind of gets it a little bit like attached. And then I'm gonna do the same concept of burnishing down with this wooden popsicle stick. And then I'm gonna do the lifting process. And again, if it's released from the plastic and then transferred to my surface, I know that I burnished it well enough. And what I'm looking for is making sure there's nothing on this part. And then I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. It's such a fun product to work with. And the designs are just fabulous. Of course, I like anything with flowers on it. So again, there's nothing on here, right? So that means that it transferred. Let me put 
this one on here. I'm going to do the same thing, peel it off, attach it, and then I'm going to rub it and then burnish it again. So all I'm doing is just probably at a 45 degree angle holding my popsicle stick and just rubbing all against the transfer. And then the design is doing just that, transferring to the surface. So what I'll do is keep transferring from one side and then I'll continue to the other side. But I'll lift it up, I'll lift this little piece of plastic up to see if I've gotten it off of the transfer. Now I could see some over here that I didn't get off. So all I have to do is just put it back down and get that little piece that didn't release itself. So again, when you pick up this clear plastic, there should be no part of the um, transfer left on there. That's why you're lifting and releasing just to see and making sure before you remove the whole piece of plastic that it's all been released. So what I want to see is, again, there's nothing on there. I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to get to the rest of the transfer. So what do you think? Again, look at the description and go to the uh, catalog that we have of all of the transfers and you will see all the different designs. Again, I'm gonna lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. If I don't see nothing on there, I continue to pull and there you go. So see how that is? I'm just gonna put a couple of little more um, embellishments on here. And then I will continue to go around this whole entire um, little uh, flower box here and finish it off. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of demonstration on how the transfers work. But I will totally fill it up with the rest of the uh, transfers. So I'm gonna just lift that and see if it transferred, it's transferring, it's transferring. There you go. And you can always go over it if you think that it's not flush. I'm gonna add one more. Am I gonna add that leaf? Let me see what other little pieces I have here. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that on this side. So see how I did this? Now, I wanna add one more thing. Now, you know how we have a lot of stencils. So I'm actually gonna take this stencil, which is called La Petite Boutique. Now I am gonna go around the whole entire basket eventually and finish it off. But right now I just wanna add just a little bit of um, wording on here. So I'm gonna cut out one of these stencils and I'm gonna take some gel or ink, which is in our brown, which is called Well I Declare and a Little Squeegee. So I'm going to just put some of that on here, onto this little container, just a little bit. And what I want to do is I'm going to overlay this on top of my painted area and my area that has been transferred. I just want to give it a little bit of a French feel with some words. Now I'm not going to go over that whole entire stencil with the gel art ink. I'm only gonna hit it in little areas. So I got a little bit on here with my little squeegee and I'm just gonna hit it just a little bit. I don't want the whole thing covered. So here's what I did. So see how I just added a little bit? You can go back and add more. I'm now gonna take the top half of the stencil and use that. And again, it's just gonna be a little bit of the stencil. So it's gonna look like it's been worn off. See how that looks? Now I'm gonna go ahead and use it on the other side. Just 
wherever I feel like I want to lay it so that it looks like it was worn off, like this basket was used. Now I'm just going to take, I'm going to see where my stencils were, where my transfers were, and just... The fun part is pulling it up and not knowing where the uh, ink is going to be. So isn't that pretty? So I am going to go ahead and finish the whole entire basket. And I'll show you the picture when you see this post. So this is a stencil. Again, if you're new to a maker's studio line of stencils, they're a tri-mesh. I am going to go put this in some water so that it doesn't clog the stencil up. But you would go and wash that. So what do you think? Some transfers. And then a little bit of an overlay of some French stencils. Again, I did use a brown gel or ink, which is well, I declare all these products will be up in the description section. So I am going to go ahead and do the whole entire thing. And I'll take a picture and you'll see what it looks like. So I love the way it comes out. And then you can just put some fresh flowers in here, some faux flowers. It could be a decor piece. It could be utilized as a flower, you know, when you're in your garden to get some flowers. Um, so what do you think? Isn't that pretty? I like the addition of the French words because it's just overlaid. And I also like that it's not perfect because when I overlaid it with the stencils, I really couldn't see where, where it was going to show up. And I just arbitrarily picked what I want to. So I hope this inspired you. Thank you for being here on the Maker Studio page. Again, I'm Cheryl from over on the Home of My Making page. I hope this inspired you to go create something fabulous with these transfers and check them out and see which designs you like the best. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.